super. I mean, a lot. Like they, they my course trained me to prepare, prepare, study before going into anything, and it gives you the best chances of being successful at whatever that is. So, like the Olympics, um, it took us months to study each of the athletes, and we really yeah. interviewed them got to know their backgrounds, got to know their respective sports. Eh, hindi siya yung parang, okay, pumunta ka na doon sa Japan, salang ka na lang, bahala. Hindi ganun eh. Kailangan, I think, respetuhin mo yung trabaho mo enough to do research and um, to understand where the athletes are coming from, what context they have, what their struggles are, uh, so that when you get to the venue, you already know which photos to take, mm-hmm. what stories to tell. Um, when you, like, for example, when I take a photo of him showing him disappointed with his performance, it also comes with that historical context na he's been living in Japan for how many years? Shaiboyan, kinalang kitahimik. At sinishield siya ng coach niya from the media. Hindi siya, parang he's been trying to learn Japanese. Mm-hmm. But he's also, even though he lost, he's also made a lot of emotional growth. Kasi hindi siya nagsasalita, no? Hindi siya nagsasalita yung emotions niya. Pero nung in-interview siya, post-game, he was talking about dealing with his emotions. Na iniyak niya yung pagkatalo niya in one night para okay na siya for the vault finals. Mm-hmm. Diba? So, if, if you understand where the athlete came from, you know how to better tell the stories to your audience and mm-hmm. to make them understand that it's not just a simple you know, winning of a medal, but it's this medal that they're holding so much more than that to them. And para sa akin, as an athlete, I'm so passionate about that and uh, the preparation time I, 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 gives me a lot of confidence to appear in front of the camera. Basta ang ano ko lang naman, no? uh, ang mentality ko lang naman. Kahit, alam mo yun, kahit na uh, hindi ka yung... Kasi there were, will always be somebody better than you in whatever aspect of whatever you're doing. Like, mm-hmm. But what you can appear with every day when you go to your job is your best. And I always try to do that and to learn. Uh, have an open mind, prepare as much as I can, and do my best my own character, personality, to, to mixture and tell the story first and foremost. Yeah, the, that's really great. And I really noticed that also in the way you interact with the athletes because yun na parang nararamdaman ko rin nga na athlete ka because you are able to get the answers from them you are able to get the quotes that people will want to hear from them not every journalist or every reporter has that skill and i believe that that's also the reason why it helped you become like that because of the journey you went through with volleyball and eventually cracking the the spot here in the journalism industry but then i wanted to also um, I'm also. I-, I wanted also to ask about uh, like see that Charles Barkley, see that Shaquille O'Neal. They also are athletes. Bef- before now, they are journalists and they appear on television a lot. And they are able to also uh, having the, have the courage to ask the athletes questions. And sometimes yung mga sagot na yun hindi naman nabibigay ng mga ibang journalists kasi bahanga since athletes sila before NBA players sila before iba yung impact. So for you, kano din ba sa tingin mo and why athletes are also comfortable and they're willing to share more of their emotional and um, troubles or their uh, hardships in preparing for Olympics, for instance, or just Gilas Pilipinas, for instance, like the preparations in Kalakalam bubble. Do you think that has an effect because you're an athlete? Also? I think that's a very good question. Um, I think the reason why um, they share a lot with me, and I, I've been so sensitive with it, is because you have to establish this level of trust with your interviewee, with your athlete. Um, as a sportscaster, you have to understand that it's not just about the story, about you bringing out to you, diba? 
you have to be their team. What, what do I mean by that? When you release your story, it has to be, it has to be helpful to their goals. Just remember that these are sports people who are aiming for something. They're aiming that our national athletes are aiming to bring pride to our country. But if you put them in a vulnerable situation, na they feel they will just be attacked or exposed. What mm-hmm. do I mean by that? Um, for example, I get a lot of um, their mental struggles. Mm-hmm. They tell me about that. Yeah. Or tell me about their mental struggles. And if I reveal all of that to the public and get them into trouble, they will mm-hmm. probably just give me one interview and that's done. Mm-hmm. Say, okay. I didn't think of their best interest. Yeah. And so, my interest here is to help them succeed. And I guess that's you know, why they also feel comfortable with me. Because as an athlete, I need to realize with that side na alam ko kung ano yung kulang eh. Alam ko ano yung kulang eh. Uh, alam ko yung mga hinanakit ng mga Pinoy athletes natin. Alam ko yung precarious situation they're in. Uh, some powerful people will take it against them if they speak up. You have to be sensitive with all of those things. And to handle the story knowing all of those factors. Kasi kung labas ka lang ng labas, di ba? Parang you serve yourself first, your your publication. Uh, mm-hmm. Siguro kaya rin ako pumasok dito kasi naiintindihan ko yun. Yeah. Not everybody's like that eh. Kasi some people would interview me and then put my words around and put it in you know context that I don't like. Mm-hmm. Uh, na doesn't serve my truth well. Mm-hmm. Or meron silang soundbite na pinutol nila tapos yung pagkakakwento nila, hindi naman yun yung ibig ko sabihin. <laughs> yeah, it happens a lot. <laughs> Oo, o kaya yung mga female athletes, uh, mm. pag describe kami, puro sa physical, o di ba, mm. may mga cute, blah, blah, blah. Mm. I don't think that helps elevate anybody's dignity or mm. diba? or parang ako, I, 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 I wanna do things in the way that I, I seek fit and will give respect to the athlete and that's that's my own brand I guess uh, that I bring into the mix um, different naman din siguro ano no, 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 advantage of being an athlete ko yung connection kasi same wavelength same mm-hmm. language same same kami ng mga pinagdaanan mm-hmm. in short 